This is pretty good. Kevin McCarthy has some problems with math and also some problems with masks and math. These people who are just like bitching about masks, it's just, it's just, I, I just find it just astonishing. Do you think we'll see like, ads in the press? Who cares? Who cares if everybody continues to wear their mask as they want to? Do you think we'll see ads in the primary like this Republican was too pro mask, so I'm going to run against them? Yes. I, 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 I think that's conceivable, without a doubt. That's a good, good prediction, Matt. Here's Dr. Jim Stevenson wearing a mask months after the CDC said it wasn't required anymore. Here is Kevin McCarthy pushing this line that the requiring of masks is is some way they, they, these guys they get really caught up in the sort of like the control you know and and I think with Pelosi doing it, it's like there's emasculation mm-hmm, type of mm-hmm, issues mm-hmm. here I mean the idea that the sort of the masks are the control well I mean people are starting to take off their masks what who's supposed to be freaking out right now that they're losing this control or is it that we've already sort of like We've already internalized the idea that, like, if there's a pandemic, we better put the mask on. Yeah, we're, we're having we're having an entire freak out among small business owners about if they can get people back into the workplace uh, for the same wages. Meanwhile, it's the masks that are about control in society right now. Right, exactly. We're gonna we are going to roll back in a bunch of Republican states the extended or ex- increased federal unemployment benefits. And uh, we're worried about the control issue uh, regarding masks. And we're going to prevent you from wearing masks in school, if you, even if you want. Yeah, exactly. Texas and uh, Iowa, I think it is, uh, or Idaho, have outlawed mandating masks in schools. So schools who may even have an outbreak can't say you need to wear a mask. That's, and I got news for you. That's going to happen. That's going to happen somewhere. Uh, Here's number 10. Um, So yesterday, the resolution that you brought to the floor about masks um, was tabled. Is there anything else that your conference can do or plans to do to change the mask requirements currently on the floor? Well, we would just like to abide by the science. What's interesting is you look at this building, there's a chamber for the House and a chamber for the Senate. But apparently... COVID works differently in both chambers. Because in the Senate, you don't wear a mask. In the House, you have to wear a mask. The only difference is the Speaker. She doesn't want to abide by the CDC rules. She actually wants to have greater control. That, to me, is a real frustration on all all that we have happened. How can the Senate not wear a mask and then the House in the same building? To me, it's all about it. That's not true. Are you encouraging the rest of the You said 75%. Half your conference is 25%. So for people that didn't hear that, the reporter said you said 75% of like the the conference is not uh, vaccinated. Um, and McCarthy goes, you said half, it's a different number. And the reporter goes, half your conference is 25%. It's math. Yeah. The, the, the bottom line is, is that um, there's a bunch of people in the house who are not vaccinated. And there's not as much of the people in the Senate who are unvaccinated. That's the bottom line. Yeah, there's only two Republicans in the Senate out of 50 Republicans that are unvaccinated, by my recollection. Um, And it's something like only 93 Republicans in the House out of, I forget the exact breakdown, but it's 435 members of the House. Roughly cut that in half, 93 out of that half. Um, I think, right? God, why am I doing numbers off the fly? Uh, this on is, the fly. Let me just, let me, yeah. it, the, the bottom line is the reporter said half your conference is not vaccinated. And McCarthy said, that's not true. And the reporter said, well, you said only uh, 75% are vaccinated in the house. And, and just, it's understood that we know that all the Democrats are yes, vaccinated. Every Democrat is right. And McCarthy said, well, you said half. That's it. Uh, and yes. the reporter said, well, yes. Half of your conference would represent 25% of the members of the House. Therefore, right. only 75%. I mean, McCarthy's just trying. I mean, first of all, he's an idiot. But he also is just trying to, uh, I, I mean, avoid this, 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 um, this issue of they're not getting vaccinated. And 
it, the look the vaccine is 90 let's say it's 95 percent. i mean we can't know exactly but more or less between 90 and 100 percent effective in terms of preventing you it's near 100 percent effective in preventing you from dying of covid it is near 95 percent effective in preventing you from getting covid period but if you do get covid and you're one of you one of the five percent you get it you have the opportunity to pass it on. Look what happened with the Yankees. Okay, these guys are in close quarters. One of them got it. And they're all vaccinated, the vast majority of them, as far as I know. They got a strain. I think they only found out that they got it through testing. I don't think any of them were symptomatic in any right. And the problem is, if one of them goes into a store with somebody who's maybe hasn't gotten vaccinated, doesn't have the ability to get vaccinated, maybe immunosuppressed, whatever it is, or has someone like that as a family member, or if let's say you're a politician and you're in the business of shaking a lot of different hands, seeing a bunch of different people, it's dangerous. And so, you know, it's perfectly reasonable that you would wear masks there. And you know what else is even perfectly reasonable? That you say, half the country, a third of the country, somewhere in between there, is not getting vaccinated. And many of those people are not getting vaccinated because, A, they are either politically disinclined to get vaccinated, and I do mean politically, or they live in a state that is controlled by people who are Republicans who are politically dis- disinclined to get vaccinated. And so what we're doing is we're just signifying, we're just performatively wearing our masks to give the uh, those people who are holding up the vaccinations or hesitant to do so some type of encouragement to wear, to get vaccinated that is also a legitimate exercise by the leaders of a country republicans would never do anything performative <laughs> that's true that's Excuse way me. beneath them you forgot that way beneath them um i mean they're going to get a staffer or a staffer's family killed from COVID doing this. If it hasn't happened already. Right, exactly. And I mean, I, yeah. I mean, we're on a downswing now and hopefully that lasts throughout the summer. But I mean, Manitoba's having a spike right now. Like, I imagine there's a possibility we'll see another one that they have to try to cover up that eventually leaks out in publicly. Hopefully not, just because... Like Canada's vaccine rollout's been like uh, it's actually picked up now though it's picked up it's but picked I mean, up dramatically but right but I mean we're far ahead in terms of like they're starting to catch up at. they're starting to catch up in Canada and just in the past like three or four weeks they're starting to catch up from a percentage standpoint but we are going to have these outbreaks there is going to be a news segment at one point over the next six months where like there's a you know a spike in this city or that state uh, et cetera et cetera. Yeah. 